Hello, I'm your host. I'm the Italian Carry Dude, and this is the 1989 Defender 92.5 TDI. And it's about the coolest truck the money can buy you. And guess what, my friends? You're in luck because this one is for sale right now. So look in the description. Um, the owner gave me a description. Everything has been done to the truck, so you can just read it. And if you want more information, follow me at the Italian Car Dude, and uh, or write me down there, and we'll talk about price and all of that if you're interested. Uh, what we're gonna do today? We're gonna take a look all of the outside. Can you see me back here? This thing is pretty big. I love it. So we're gonna look at the outside and all the upgrades that were done, um, front, back, uh, interior, and then we're gonna drive it, and then we're gonna score it. Okay, so don't miss out. Okay, so here's the question that many of you might have, or at least some of you. I know it was a question I had, so should I buy the NES or the European one? And what are my options? Why one is better than the other? And the answer is simply, it depends. So what makes the Land Rover NAS North American spec special? Well, it was only imported for a few years, 1993 and a half, I would say to 1997. Just a little over 6,000 units, which makes it really rare. You can find those. Um, if you can find like a 110, those are really valuable. The 110 is the four-door version, 127 is the four-door safari look kind of version, and the Defender 90. Those were, they had a plate in the back that said a number and all of that. And yeah, they're very valuable. They came with the first with a 3.9 V8 and then later upgraded to a 4.0 V8, about 134 horsepower, something like that. Not, not, nothing crazy, nothing very fast. Meanwhile, the Eurospec like this one, you couldn't have it. I mean, again, they didn't import until 1994, pretty much. And so this wasn't even an option. I think it looks really cool. It didn't, uh, and the reason why now they can be imported, even though it's not easy, is because um, they're more than 25 years old. So now, you know, they don't have to meet all the regulation of the US. I think, so my opinion on this at the end, that's why I said it depends, is like, sure, the NES are very rare, but also how rare is to have like an Italian defender that comes from Italy where everything was done there, like a frame of restoration, and you have a park in, the, in your driveway. What are the chances of someone, um, you know, having the same car like in their driveway so is either ones you know the, the the nes version they're selling very high now prices are all over the place i feel the european spec version i personally think is looks amazing and uh, and will go up in value it will go up in value not doubt so either way you got a defender you can't go wrong Okay, here we are in beautiful South Florida. It's about 10,000 degrees out and I am melting while I show you the interior of this beautiful truck. So car, truck, whichever you want to call it. So again, this is 1989 Defender 90. This particular model was, uh, it comes from Italy, was imported from Italy, was completely redone in Italy. As you can see, everything is amazing and plush and done by an Italian uh, leather master. Uh, I want to thank Alessandro for letting me borrow it. He's trying to sell it because he's moving. And uh, I would probably buy it myself if I, my wife wouldn't like probably kill me. But we, we're going to get that uh, straight out later. I'm going to take it home and ask my wife what she thinks about it. In the meantime, I want to show you guys a few details. So as you can see, the keyhole is on the left side and that's because uh, those cars were originally right-hand drive. 
So when they brought them over to Italy, uh, you know, the, the, they just moved the steering column all together. So put the key inside, push it all the way in, twist it towards you and you're gone. Now we see the defroster, the hazards, and those are like uh, to turn on the lights in the back, which is really cool. And that's a choke for a cold start. Those, uh, those cars tend to get pretty hot. He put a C in it, and he was telling me how much of a pain in the butt that was. Uh, pardon my French. But you know, it was a lot of work to make it up, and, and they retrofit this uh, AC. It looks beautiful, and not just looks beautiful, it works great. Um, the instruments are super simple. Uh, they're super 80s, of course, and it's just all you need. All you need is here, simple materials. This wasn't supposed to be a fancy car. This was a, you know, kind of a Jeep, an off-road an off-road kind of car. Love this, I think they did a fantastic job. So let me see what else I can tell you about the interior. Um, everything was, besides the AC, which it fits beautifully, you would think is the original of the, of the car. Um, there is still original parts, but upgraded tastefully, I wanna say. Like there is in the middle of play the Reed's Defender, but there is like three gauges, which they're new. Uh, the switches for the auxiliary lights outside, which I'm gonna show you, they're really, really cool. Um, it is a, a vault reader, um, double USB port, 12 volt port, and as far as technology, that's about it. I mean, there is no, no power windows. Everything else is pretty much 1999, but the nicest they can possibly be. It's gotta be my very, very favorite thing about this car. And this is like something that makes it unique. I remember like having this car as a kid, as a, you know, as a die cast model and play with this, exactly with this. How fun is this? A little bench seat, you're talking uh, while you're probably really hot back here. But again, today, Florida, thousand degrees. Probably not the best day for it, but how cool is this? You do not care about anything if you're back here. There's like really cool windows up here where you get a little bit of light. Those windows are huge and you get a lot of light there. And this is so much fun. And then again, I mean, the quality of this upholstery is like exceptional, exceptional. You're not gonna find a Defender in this condition. And I'm not saying it because this is like my friend's car. Or, I mean, I really mean it. I think particularly if you have a family like I do, you know, kids, they're gonna love, 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 love this back here. Okay, and if you want, this can be removed as a Velcro and stuff. You can remove, you can close the seat if you wanted some extra cargo. Um, I mean, I'm like five, seven, five, eight. That's what I like to say, even though I'm probably not. But um, yeah, at least five, seven, and five, seven and a half or eight on a good day. And you know, like standing straight, I don't have much space, but this is like super comfy and you wanna be like relaxed. And yeah, it's fine. You're not gonna go like uh, on a 10 hour road trip back here, but it's gonna be wonderful to go and show up for brunch. <laughs> That's about it. And uh, the step super comfortable. Okay, now walk into the back. I think this must be, I'm gonna use a big word and I'm not sure how to use it, but I think it's single-handedly, and sing, single, single, well, you know what I mean. Uh, it's like the most beautiful back, has, how do you wanna call it? Like the most beautiful. I never seen something like that. I think this is like so tasteful, so beautiful. And the way they updated this, it's really exceptional. Uh, again, all the work was done. Uh, this, this has been imported from Italy, so it's a European model. Uh, all the work was done in Italy. And they did a fantastic job. They did a fantastic job like upgrading and updating without losing what this is. They put lights up there, uh, you know, a big rack, the ladder, which I always love. Um, everything is from Maasai 
um, and everything looks fantastic it's really done well they did a good job with this old car really of um, doing something where the husband will love it but the wife is not gonna be that mad about it you know because it looks fantastic and looks polished while still looking aggressive and rugged so let's move to the front I can't say fantastic or amazing enough when it comes to this car I think they really did a fantastic job like the LED lights black inside so it all blends in the grill the covers Everything super tasteful, super tasteful. <laughs> Hello, it's me you're looking for. Okay, now we're gonna test drive this baby. Hopefully you can hear me. If not, I'll, test, uh, I'll uh, voice over this part. Uh, from what you can hear from my mic, it's uh, the noise level in here. It's, uh, I wanna call it interesting. Um, let's say this car makes you feel like a man. Here we are. What do you think? Take a look. Well, I'm really happy that you didn't buy this one. So this is a great thing. Oh God. And but I love it. This is one sexy car. Okay. 
Come take a look. If we could afford it. <laughs> you don't even know how much it is. I would be. I don't want to know. <laughs> can't afford it. But I would be like, oh, you're one sexy father and husband. I mean, right? Car. You're. You're. You can't not be sexy with this guy. Yeah, no, no. no. Look at the interior. Look at the work they Sexiest did. Sexiest thing of all is that you didn't buy it. <laughs> now we know how she feels. Enough. Try sitting on it. It's like super comfortable. Like the the this was all done in Italy. Oh my God, the back is so cool. The back, Amar, the back is like the coolest thing ever. It's like being in a taxi cab in London. I used to, uh, I used to have a, it. I used to have a model of this car when I was a kid. No, no, no. this. I mean, if Noah sees this, she'll yeah. be like sold. And that, that was my point. Like, if you see, like, if a kid sees that, but even an adult, I want you to try sitting in the back. Come. I mean, we, do we do a GoFundMe to get this car or what? I I try offering him like everything. Uh, <laughs> Everything that I could offer him. How do, you, how do we open um, this? Well, the good thing, and I'm telling you just to know, right? Those cars are going up in value every day because there is a big following for this. Go in. Okay. Don't show my big fat ass. Isn't that amazing? I mean, no, fantastico. It's great. I mean, this is like the coolest thing ever. Okay, here's my question. Are you ready for the question? I mean, whatever husband out there that can afford this they should buy it are you ready for the question yes. that is not, not the question gonna buy it. no that is not the question we have no money. here's the question but we you, have health and love and family yes. but here's the question yes okay. and that's the question i need you to answer okay it's like from one to ten okay how mad would you be if i showed up home with this guy um no i would be really mad from one to ten yeah but it, it, with uh, like money not being a no problem. no don't worry no, we're not talking about money we're talking about like the car <laughs> so if I showed money. up yeah if I showed if up you home showed up on a lovely day I would be like this is the greatest purchase you've done out of the 30 million purchases that you have done okay we're not talking about me we're talking about the car okay this like how how is... how mad would you be money okay. is not an issue but like this I show up home I with this car I would not be mad I would even make you dinner oh look at that Look at that. And that's what I was yeah. going with this. No, I would say, like, let's get in the car and head to North Carolina. There you go. Yep. Okay. Two thumbs up for me. That's the, hard to uh, This is wife approved. Wife approved. Wife approved. Yes. Seal of approval. Wife. Awesome. Okay. Here we are. Here we are. This is the end. Um, and I'm going to tell you my final thoughts. So we're gonna score each car I'm gonna review. Also, if you want your car to be featured, reviewed, if you're trying to sell your car, truck, whatever it is, motorcycle, um, I'm up for anything and everything. Um, I love doing this. And uh, so please, if you want, like write down in the description, uh, comment, subscribe to my page. I just started it. Uh, so be the first and you'll get a hug once the hugs are like legal and uh, and uh, go to my instagram is the italian car dude my name is andrea battista why just a little intro like why i'm the italian car dude because i'm very italian but also very american meaning i'm originally from italy i grew up there all of that but i play fantasy football ride harleys not exclusively but you know i'm pretty much american i love america uh so okay here are my thoughts we're gonna we're gonna review each of the car i'm gonna review based on five things so for the maximum score of 50. and now for the score let's see we're gonna score again based on comfort quality how cool are you going to be is your wife gonna kill you if you get one and uh, is it a good investment comfort is the seats are amazing they did an amazing job the uh, super comfortable plush interior once he once he's rolling it's it's good it's good you're you, you're chilling okay but it is a rough ride and it does ride like an off-road car which is what it is right so i'll give it a six then it's quality the quality we're talking about this particular one i think they did a phenomenal job i said it a, a billion times during this video and but it still is a rough car overall it still is a jeep 
I give it a 6.5. Um, how cool are you going to be? Well, to me, this is like a no-brainer. This is a, a 10, absolute 10. Doesn't matter who it is, he's going to think you're cool. Everyone loves it. It looks beautiful. Everyone's going to ask you about. As I mentioned before, if you don't want to talk about your car, do not buy this one because everyone is going to have something to say. You're going to be absolutely cool. Is your wife going to kill you if you get it? Well, my wife expressed her opinion, obviously. Uh, but if you can afford it, no, she's not going to kill you. She's going to be happy when you show up with it. I don't think she's going to drive it herself, if that's my personal opinion. So, but she's going to think you're hot. Everyone is hot driving this thing. She's not going to kill you. I give it an 8. And then, last but not least, is it a good investment? Um, in my opinion, again, I spoke about NAS versus the Eurospec. It is absolutely a good investment. Doesn't matter how long you're going to keep it for. Every week is in your driveway. It's going to be worth a little bit more. The price is a little bit all over the place, but because there were so few of those, doesn't matter European or American, chances the you're not gonna find many out there so you can name your price especially especially if you take care of it it's a good shape name your price and there will be a buyer for it out there so chances are whatever you buy it for you're gonna sell it for more so to me this is a an absolute eight for a grand total of 38.5 out of 50 We'll see later how it compares to the next cars I'm going to review. I think there is a few little things that maybe uh, you want to pay attention to, but really, really almost nothing. Like there is like little details like in the, in the dashboard, you know, a few things. But let's not forget that those are like British cars. I had a, I had a, 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 1985, a 1995 Range Rover, the one with the rounded lights and pretty much every light and the dashboard was on. This one, no lights are on, everything is good, everything works just fine, but the speedometer, you know, sometimes it goes like a little, you know, there is few little things. If you want to like 100% perfect, you can maybe do that. But that's also the beautiful thing about this. You can take this and just put the final, final, final touches because this is like 99% done if and you're interested in purchasing this one uh, reach out to me and thank you so much Alessandro for letting me like borrow your car truck now unfortunately I need to take it back and I don't know how I don't want to kind of sad I'm gonna do the look away kind of sad it's a sad moment I'm gonna have to return it okay guys thank you for being here with me uh, again let me know if you want me to review your car in the i'm in the miami area right now uh, so you're if you're around here in the description you'll find all the information thank you